Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Hellmark Station. I've set up my OBS to remux the uh, recordings to MP4, so I record to MKV, uh, and then it gets remuxed to MP4 afterwards. Um, the reason you do this is because if OBS crashes partway through recording in MKV, uh, it'll just like stop the recording there because it doesn't have to finish the recording there's no stuff to append at it you know so if it just like cuts it out then you just get up to that point whereas if you do that with mp4 the whole video is corrupted and unwatchable because it has to append stuff to the end or whatever i don't know how the uh, encoding stuff works exactly but um you record an mkv which is what i was doing before anyway um because it's just a more convenient file type than mp4 and then you remux it to mp4 and I have to do that now because with the Minecraft videos, um, uh, my I edited in DaVinci Resolve and it doesn't have the ability to uh, like import an MKV. So if I want to edit an MKV, I have to like change the file to MP4, and I had like a, a script that did that before. But OBS just has an option to remux it to MP4 afterwards, so that's what I'm doing. But I don't have it like disabled for recording KF2, so I get twice the amount of KF2 videos on my my drive, which is like kind of a problem because that's a lot of space. But I delete them pretty quick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but then, uh, more importantly, it means that there's this like downtime between each episode while it remuxes. It only takes for like a half an hour video. It only takes like you know a minute to to remux its MP4, but. There is definitely that downtime in between each recording, which I'm not used to, so I've uh, I've had a few recordings now where I end up uh, not doing that. And I like hit record early and it, it just messes everything up, which is um, mildly annoying, but not that big a deal, really. Get to pause real quick. I have a hotkey for pausing, I just forget what it is. So I always have to Alt tab over there. Oh, I've got stuff in my. What did I have to go and do? Well, I had to use the washroom, honestly. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. Sitting here, and I had the urge to go and uh, take a wee. Where are you, buddy? How do I get. How do I get you? Uh oh. Um. What the. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I have no idea how I did that, but seems, seems legit. Um, so anyway, I've, uh, gotta get used to that remuxing. The heck, man. <laughs> I have no idea what I did. I, like, threw the grenade at the same moment I, like, turned on my flashlight and it got rid of my hands or something like that. I don't know. Weird. Um, this is a giant yeah. Cut, so anyway, I've got, uh, speaking of Minecraft, I've got like the second episode almost finished edited now. <laughs> I'm like, still have not got a response from the person I sent a message to for, uh, not having the hands is actually messing me up, dude. I uh, still haven't got a response from the person I messaged about the, uh, um, like new avatar. Nothing back from them yet, which is fine. They're probably busy or whatever, but it is it is starting to get to like yeah, I kind of just don't expect a response at this point really so much. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna find somebody else to do it. Miss Chamomile, I liked I liked her stuff, but she's not responding, so I can't really do that, <laughs> which is fine. Again, she's probably busy. Um, no big deal. I still recommend her stuff. Her stuff looks really cool. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna maybe find somebody else and get them to do it instead. But it's been, uh, kind of annoying because I can't, like, and it's not like it's, you know, her fault or whatever, right? Like, it's, it's just the nature of the beast, right? Um, but I, I'm not really willing to start, um on the new channel until we have that new avatar and kind of get that separated branding between the two channels. Um, and, uh, like, mildly separated. Um, 
and I've just gotta like wait for her to do it and it's not come back and I have to find somebody else and who knows how long it'll take them to get back to me and then do it and all this stuff kinda coming together to just take up a lot of my time which is unfortunate <laughs> but is what it is right um, so I just I have, uh, I have two episodes on a backlog right now it's gonna be like realistically another week and a half before we're able to start up on the new channel and then have all of the, the content that I want to do again up over there probably get another episode or two maybe even edited and, and ready to go and I'm just like yeah, I don't know how like often I'll be uploading it so that I'll, I'll be able to like reduce that backlog I'll have to kind of like figure something out because that's a bit I want a backlog but that's a little bit of a backlog when I my god I can't I want to get like a video a week right that's, that's like a month of backlog right there right which is is just that's a lot of backlog and uh, yeah so I've got to think about that maybe I have to take a break from Minecraft I guess maybe just to get it done I don't have any RuneScape content made yet and I do want that as well so maybe I'll take a break from Minecraft and just focus on making some RuneScape stuff could be a good idea to have a small backlog of both of them, which could be okay, I guess. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm having a lot of fun playing Minecraft again, though. I'm super glad that I decided to start up a new uh, Minecraft series. It's been a lot of fun. I'm so excited for when it goes live and you guys can start watching it, because I think the episodes are pretty good. We got some good stuff going on. I really just like want it to be there so you guys can all see it you know and it's just uh, not there yet but I really am excited for when it does get there because it's gonna be sick I'm hoping people like it I'm having fun making it and that's the most important part for me but I uh, the second most important part is definitely other people having fun watching it <laughs> you know top priority is me having fun making it second priority is other people enjoying it and uh, it's concerning because I'm investing a lot of time into like this huge change and a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort and money into this new changes and I don't know if, it, if people are going to enjoy it so much. I think that people will. I, uh, I largely make good decisions in my life. I do make a few bad decisions but I don't think this is one of them. Um, yeah. Anyway. It's uh... Just been a lot of uh, sitting with the cat watching YouTube videos lately with uh, with not having too much to do. Which is also good, you know? I like sitting with my cat. That's always nice. It's uh she's gotten into the habit. It's it's been it's been so long that I've been like doing that that she's gotten into the habit of like being ready to sit on the couch and watch YouTube videos. Um so I go up at like eleven ish, make lunch. She'll usually like wake up and then come and chill out with me while I finish up my food and then like head downstairs to the couch and like yep so this is just this is just my life now huh this is this is what we do now that's <laughs> yeah, okay again I like I like sitting with her on the couch so it's fine but I want to I want to have more productive stuff to do you know it's a it's a nice lazy way to go but lazy isn't always what you want right I want to be productive I want things to do and I don't have it right now but it's coming soon. We got like a week and a half away now. Weight loss is also back on track, actually. Well. I'm definitely currently up from where we started. So thus far we've made negative progress. Um, but we are uh, we are like definitely 100% on track currently. Or I am, anyway, uh, for the weight loss. It's definitely uh, happening. And it's it's got that uh, it's got that good feelings about it, you know. It's this isn't this like last time I tried uh, like the last time I tried to, to start losing weight, I didn't have these good feelings about it. I didn't have these uh, like yep, this is just a habit now. But I, I got it now, you know. Like like I said, um, I get up around eleven o'clock ish. I make lunch and sit with my cat for a bit, and it, it's become sort of habitual and. I think uh, I think I'm past the the hard part for the weight loss now, and I've I've, w I've lost weight before. I know that I can I can definitely regress in the future, you know. Um, so I gotta watch out for that, but you know, whatever. 
I'm definitely past the hard part in my opinion. I've, uh, I've, I've got the habits built up now. I just gotta stick with it, right? That's like 90% of the battle in my experience is, is getting those habits built up. You know, when, when you're in the habit of, of buying, you know, McDonald's or Wendy's or KFC or A&W or pizza, Chinese, you know, whatever kind of garbage that you're going to be putting in your body. When you're in the habit of doing that, it's hard to break those habits and uh, start eating, not necessarily healthier, but a healthier amount of food. Anyway. Um... And uh, I've, I've definitely broken those habits. I haven't uh, ordered food in a little while. I don't have any desire to order food. Um, been eating a healthy amount of food. A couple of pounds off at this point, although still not quite at... Uh, I didn't put on too much weight, but I, I definitely put on a little bit. So I'm almost back to where we started, which is, is where I started anyway. Which will be nice, and then it's just 10 pounds from there, and then that's actual, like tangible progress you know what I mean that's gonna feel good but a little bit of time to go for that a yeah. little bit of time to go for that this is a giant paper we'll see how it goes though go it's gonna go good is how it's gonna go it's gonna go good I started using my ice cube tray right talked about it in a recent episode I started using that making ice for the first times in my life and it's been nice it's been nice I've uh, I've gotten into the habit of only using it for my nighttime water so I'll, uh, I'll hop into bed get uh, my bottle filled up with ice cubes refill the ice cube tray stick it back in the freezer and then carry on with life it's nice cold water to, to fall asleep with nice because my room gets reasonably warm at night sometimes and uh, having that there even if uh, for no other reason than just to be able to hold it and kind of like uh, cool myself down is kind of nice um, we're getting into the cold weather though again so it's not nice every night but some some nights we still have a little bit warm especially when my computer's going speaking of my computer actually last night I was woken up at 5 a.m by my fans going just haywire in my computer. They were like max speed. <laughs> it was bad. Um, yeah, they were they were going crazy, dude. Uh, and I, I got up, I went up to my computer to see what the heck was happening. Uh, it was like 20% CPU load, so it must have been a GPU thing, but my computer was like frozen. It, it took like literally like seven minutes for me to shut my computer down um from that point and then get it loaded back up again so i think the gpu's got some problems probably a driver issue because this is uh an older windows operating system i'm on 8.1 using a 2060 ko and on top of that this installation of windows this like everything well this installation of windows anyway had uh has gone through a uh, complete hardware change, like new motherboard, new CPU, new GPU, uh, new drivers for everything, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that uh, it might be. Oh, you know what is what is my OBS pause button? What is it? Hotkeys. Pause recording is Control Four. Okay. What happened? Honestly, the Discord server got super into, uh, like, like, just like super active all of a sudden. I was like, I want to be a part of this. <laughs> I want to be involved. I want to, I want to be, you know, somebody who gets involved with these things, right? I want to be there for this. I want to be there for it. Oh my god, oh my god. I watched this, uh, one German YouTuber who, uh, I can't say his name, I'm sorry, um, can't remember his name, honestly. It's not that I can't say it, I can't remember it, but I watched this one German Minecraft YouTuber who, uh, he made a video on how to use the Bibliocraft, like, um, printing table thingy, so you could see how, uh, 
so he, he showed you how to use it to like duplicate uh, books in Bibliocraft with uh, which is like a mod and costs XP and paper and ink and stuff to like copy a, a book over and uh, I needed to figure out how to how the heck you use it I had no idea so I looked it up and he had like a just like a one minute video just explaining exactly how it works and how to make it all do what you want and I was like dude I've, I've watched like or I've, I've looked at like 18 different videos that are all like 10 minutes long for this one thing and I just don't want to watch a 10 minute long video about the like printing press and bibliocraft and uh, I was like this is this is this is exactly what I want so I subscribed to him and I've been watching him on occasion he does a couple of minecraft series and uh, I, I just turn on the like subtitles and auto translation because I understand almost nothing of German at all. Um, I can I can maybe piece together the odd sentence and be like I kind of understand the context at least. Like we're talking a big maybe there though, but. Uh, I still watch them anyway, and it's it's these things that make me realize that, uh, like, just just thank God for for like auto translated subtitles, because I mean, I'm getting to watch this guy who I enjoy. I enjoy his content, does some cool stuff, and it's it's entirely because of uh, the auto translated subtitles. That's it. That's that's the whole reason why I'm able to watch it, which is like super cool. In my opinion. Super cool. How you can like cross the language barrier that way, you know? And to be clear, machine translated German is not super great. <laughs> Especially when you're in like a highly contextual environment like Minecraft or whatever. Right? Like it's, it's not great. Um, like there's no... German word for shulker boxes, you know what I mean? It's just a shulker boxing or whatever. Which is uh fine. And and there's no you know German word for a, a wither. Right? And there's no German word well there's there's probably a German word for wither, but it's not uh it's not the name of the mob, you know, so I don't know if um it would like translate it or whatever, but um so oftentimes um, what happens is, is when you're reading this kind of stuff or watching it or whatever, I'm reading the subtitles, um, they'll take like, uh, a, uh, a name that is pronounced in English and then because there's like a heavy accent on it, because it's, you know, being pronounced in German, but like it's an English name just being used in German, um, it's like, uh, Um, it's picking up, it's getting picked up by the auto-translate as, like, other words, and then it's getting, like, replaced, and they're trying to figure out what this word means, and then, like, figuring out, like, oh, it kind of sounds similar to this, and then, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun sometimes watching it. Oh, I, I do a lot of content, I, I consume a lot of content, consume a lot of content with, um, in other languages. I do, I do consume a lot of uh, English content as well, you know, Etho, Zisto, Northern Lion. Um, I watch a lot of uh, cooking channels, you know, Chef John, I watch Guga Food, I watch Binging with Babish and Joshua Weissman, lots of English content as well, but I also watch a lot of um, not English content. There's this one Chinese YouTuber, same thing, you know? Um, she's like uh, Xiaoying or something like that. Um, and, uh, she does, like, some Chinese recipes all the time, and typically what she makes is, like, some kind of, uh, uh, like, dough, and then steams it, and it's super, like, fluffy and soft and stuff, and squishy, and then she, like, squishes it on camera, and that's, that's typically how our videos tend to go, but, uh, I watch it anyway, because sometimes she's got some interesting stuff on it. I haven't tried anything of hers yet, but, uh. I like watching it anyway. 
Um, yeah, I just I watch a lot of uh, lot a lot of content really. The kind of content that I consume the most of is definitely the stuff that's like you know two minutes long or whatever. Not so much the stuff that's like ten minutes long, thirty minutes. Well, ten minutes long, yeah. Thirty minutes long, not so much. A little bit, but I don't really have the time for that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I don't have the time for it. We're at 20 minutes in the video. The heck? Have we done two Hallmark stations already? This should be the um, this is why I have a shrink first, I thought. I don't know. I've taken so many pauses throughout this that uh, maybe we have. I'll have to take a look afterwards. Back in the game. Um, yeah, anyway. Did, did, I could have swore we had... Uh, did I forget to pause it at one point or something like that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm looking at the recording time. It's like 20 minutes. and I've definitely spent way more than 20 minutes here. Because um, I've taken a few pauses. But uh, I, feel like, I feel like this is the first round of Hellmark Station that we're doing, right? We haven't done a boss fight in Hellmark Station today, have we? No, we did. We got uh, the Abomination, right? We got the Abomination. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the Abomination. Okay, okay. All is well in the world. Because it is about where it would be if we were to be doing the second round right now. 20 minutes in for round, you know, four of the second um, game. That's, that's like, normal. For sure. Um, so, just kind of had me a little bit messed up there for a moment, you know? Had me a little bit messed up. It's not that I can't think of anything to say. But I'm tired, man. I want to go to bed. I might record some more KF2 tomorrow. I might uh, might record some more tomorrow. Because I got one episode today. I got enough to get today and tomorrow's episodes up. I can just record 5 KF2 tomorrow. That's fine. Tomorrow's a stream day. But I mean, that kind of gives me anecdotes for the stream, right? I don't know. I'm tired. I've been tired since I woke up. It was a bad sleep last night with uh, the whole being woken up in the middle of the night by my computer going like a mile a minute and then uh, not being able to like know what the heck happened and then my mother was doing laundry at like 7 a.m. like just after I got back to sleep and I didn't quite hit you know the the REM sleep or whatever where you, uh, you sleep a little bit more soundly. So I definitely was woken up by that and then I got woken up by something at like 8 a.m. again, and then like 10 a.m., I finally woke up at 11 a.m., and I'm like, I'm not really feeling rested today, but like, we just have to get on into it. I don't know if I've ever been over here before. This is, uh, neat. It's just one of those days where I don't feel totally rested, you know? It's okay to not feel totally rested, you know? I don't really operate well when I'm tired. A lot of people, they can be tired, and they'll be like, yeah, you can just push through it. I'm not really one of those. When I'm tired, I'm like, yeah, I'm tired, man. I sleep when I'm tired, you know? I'm one of those people. If I'm tired, I sleep. Okay? Give me two, two o'clock in the afternoon. I will sleep, dude. I will sleep. Uh, we got a quick little, uh... bit here, I guess. So, uh, marijuana is legal in, uh, in Canada. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking of trying it out for a while. I kind of held off until I was 25, and then I just haven't had the motivation to go and do it um, since I turned 25. Um, just haven't had the, the desire to. Um, but I've been thinking I kind of might want to try it, because there's a couple of things that... Everybody talks about it, right? Everybody talks about being on, you know, trying marijuana, and everybody wants to say that, oh, it makes them, like, so much better. You know, I got, like, just... A ton of friends who do, uh, who, who've, uh, who use marijuana. Yeah, like a lot of friends. It's insane how popular it is. Um, do, do, do. It's insane how popular it is. Um, so anyway, I've been thinking of uh, giving her a go. Because everybody wants to talk about how, uh, how much better it makes them feel. I don't know. Maybe it'll help me talk to my parents again or something, you know? Maybe it'll uh, fix all my uh, my issues. Maybe it'll give me all kinds of uh, motivation or something. I don't know. It's worth trying, though, right? 
As long as you're not smoking it, you get like uh, some form of an edible or something like that. Some some non, you know, it smoked thing that's not going to mess up your lungs. There really isn't that much that kind of goes wrong with it when used in a, in a responsible amount, right? Like there isn't really any kind of uh, side effects to it, really. It's it's like probably better for you than alcohol, I believe. Uh, used reasonably, right? And uh, not smoked. Smoked, it's probably like comparable to alcohol. Maybe even worse long term, just because like that smoke really messes up your lungs, dude. Um, but I'm thinking about giving it a try because yeah, again, like there's not really trying it once isn't really going to be. It's not addictive, right? So much. Um, trying it once isn't really going to be that big a deal, right? As long as there's nicotine in it or whatever that's like designed to. Be like, yeah, we're just gonna make you addicted to this stuff so that you never get it and you have to keep buying it over and over again. Like, no, it's it's more like alcohol. So I've been I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. It's been on my. Uh, there's like a weed store just down the road from where I live, so it's been it's been on my mind for a few months now. I'll definitely I'll definitely tell you guys how it goes if I ever do do it. But anyway. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.